What's up guys, it's me Lotion here again and first of all I want to thank all the people leaving a positive rating and a nice comment on my previous video up here on Pixel Enemy. It means a lot to me to get over 400 likes and in my opinion 400 likes is a lot and if you don't think so, try to imagine 400 people in front of you right now. Yeah, indeed it's a lot of people and that's why I got so happy from watching the like bar on my previous video. Anyways, today I got a video comparing the MP412 Rex and the 44 Magnum, two very powerful sidearms and they are pretty similar as well. So I'm going to compare them and try to figure out which one of them suits best for different situations. So the first thing that I'm going to compare is the damage stats. Both of them are two very powerful sidearms as I said, so they do a lot of damage. But the 44 Magnum is the most powerful one of them with 60 damage up to 12 meters, but then it drops down to 30 damage per bullet all the way up to um, 50 meters. And for the Rex we got 50 damage per bullet up to 15 meters, and then it drops down to 28 damage per bullet up to 37 meters. So the difference here is that the Magnum does more damage on both close combat and for longer engagements. So the Magnum does more damage overall compared to the Rex. However, both the Rex and the Magnum does a one shot if you get a headshot. I just felt that um, I should mention that. The next thing that I want to compare is when you unlock them. And to unlock the Magnum you need to reach level 36 and you unlock the scoped version at level 44. And to unlock the Rex, you need to get uh, 63,000 points within the co-op mode. So the Magnum is pretty easy to unlock since you can play normally and just level up until you reach it. But I do also feel that the Rex is very easy to unlock because 63,000 points within the co-op mode isn't that much. Just play two rounds of co-op and you will have the Rex unlocked. So if you're new to Battlefield for example and you want a powerful pistol, you can definitely unlock the Rex very fast compared to the Magnum. Next up we got the reload time, something very important when it comes to comparing two different weapons slash sidearms in my opinion. So the Rex reloads in 3.6 seconds and the Magnum reloads in 3.25 seconds. So the Magnum is the winner when it comes to the reload time. Next up we got something very important, the rate of fire. And the rate of fire for the Magnum is 180 rounds per minute and for the Rex we have a rate of fire on 220 rounds per minute. So the Rex fires 40 bullets more per minute compared to the Magnum, which is something very positive if you are in a close combat fight for example. There you need to get out some bullets pretty quickly and I have noticed that the Magnum is a very good weapon if you are defending on the rush game mode for example because you won't come up in extremely close combat fights and for the Rex I find it very good if you are attacking on the rush game mode because you will end up in some intense fights there you need to fire some bullets very quickly so both the Magnum and the Rex are good on different engagements we're not done with the facts yet we have the magazine capacity left and the Magnum holds 6 bullets in the chamber and for the Rex we have the same amount of bullets in the chamber, 6 bullets. Finally, we are done with the facts for the sidearms that I feel necessary to mention and my opinion is that the Rex is the best one, just because of that higher rate of fire, because my playstyle is to be aggressive and try to flank the enemy and really run and gun, so I really need something with a decent rate of fire and the Rex provides that compared to the Magnum. But if you're going to relax and try to be more defensive, I would pick the Magnum over the Rex. That's it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a rating. Anyways, something that I would like to mention is that I would love to get some feedback instead of just dislikes. Because if I don't get any feedback from you, I can't make the video any better. I guess that's it. Uh, thanks to Pixel Enemy for giving me this opportunity. Bye and have a wonderful day Pixel Nation.